Hello and welcome to this Inkscape for Teachers video. This is a bit of an unusual one, something I came across um, looking at uh, videos in YouTube of earlier versions of Inkscape and I thought I might do an updated one for how to produce these uh, interesting patterns such as this one. So let me just scroll down and I'll show you how we do, uh, do this. First the circles and ellipses tool, control shift to drag one from the inside out select tool, control D to duplicate a uh, copy on top and then control shift drag out that copy. With those selected I'll turn it into one object rather than two by going path combine. You can see if I click uh, a colour there that's the actual object or control Z. And now again under the path menu path effects and plus if nothing happens click that plus another time and find stitch subpaths in this menu go add and then in here the actual number of lines appears to be one less than what's put in here maybe it counts the uh, original object as a path but if I put in a hundred in there and then click in another box it's a quick way I guess of getting segments around the, cir the circle like that but then the interesting thing is if I click this icon here which says edit on canvas then scroll up I think it puts it at the top of the page yeah, you can see these two dots if I drag a rock and just drag them down closer to the object that I want to manipulate and I'll just drag this one out, doesn't do anything there but if I change an angle like that you can see that has an effect if I drag this uh, up say to there if I, want, you know, I can change angles there as well I can even double click on this and put another node in and you know, say drag that down a little bit something like that and that's uh, pretty similar to the one I got up there now if you go back to the select tool and you think oh I wanted to play around with that some more you can click on it and again N for the node tool will bring up this shape actually you bring up the shape but uh, we want to still edit it sorry so just clicking on it and then clicking this icon here, edit on canvas that puts these nodes back for us to edit. Now watch if I drag some rather extreme things you get some incredible patterns, spirograph type things happening go the other way go out there some amazing things, even changing the angles of the gradients by clicking there or around the other way it's uh, quite fascinating what you can can do there so anyway I'll leave that for you to play with it, it might be one way of getting some interesting mathematical illustrations for display and you can colour them of course not the uh, fully inside, you'd have to draw a circle around the outside or something for that or another technique but uh, by shift clicking say shift click red you can change the stroke colour there anyway an interesting little snippet of one of the hidden gems in Inkscape Thanks for watching.